Welcome everybody to my Tuesday Facebook Live. I hope you're all staying healthy and safe and I thought I'd give you some updates on a few different subjects today. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the cool weather. It's about to turn cold so um, I love it actually and when I go out to walk or whatever I just bundle up so hope you're out enjoying the good weather. First of all, today, October 13th, is the first day of in-person voting in Fayette County. And uh, there are numerous opportunities to vote, and I'm going to kind of run through a few of those. N many of you ordered the absentee ballot, like I did, and it was widely available. And if you requested your ballot, when you get it, be sure to follow the directions real carefully and um, then go drop it in the mail or in one of the ballot boxes that's available around town. There are six of them and so it's, it's just real easy to do that. Some of you may not have actually received it yet, but don't worry. It takes a little bit of time to get, get that absentee ballot. As far as early in-person voting, which is what started today, uh, this is available at eight locations around town through November 2nd. That's the day before the election. And so you can vote uh, between 8.30 and 4 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday at these early in-person voting locations. And on Saturdays, you can go from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can choose any location. You do not have to go to a certain one in your neighborhood or near your neighborhood. Go to whichever one works. So for this early in-person uh, voting, they're also using the same locations that will be used on Election Day, November 3rd. So those same eight locations are early voting and election day voting. And I'm gonna run through where they are. On election day, the hours are 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is normal election day hours. Now, the locations where you can choose where you wanna go on election day or early in-person voting. Tate's Creek Branch Library, Northside, Branch Library and Beaumont Branch Library. Also the Dunbar Center, the Lexington Senior Center, the Bluegrass Community and Technical College Leestown Campus, and Wellington Elementary, as well as Garrett Morgan Elementary. Those will all be open for voting on Election Day, November 3rd. They are all open now, October 13th, through November 2nd for voting. Our Fayette County Clerk, Don Blevins Jr., has put together a voting plan which the Governor and the Kentucky uh, Secretary of State approved. And he, the clerk is recommending, he's recommending that everybody vote early, whether it's through absentee ballot or in-person ballot. It will reduce the number of people in line on election day and will make it go smoother. So this protects everybody in the time of pandemic. And if, if I've gone a little too fast, all this information is on our website. It's www.lexingtonky.gov slash vote. If you go to that, you can find all these sites, the hours, and everything you need to know about voting. And additionally, Lextran is offering free rides to voting locations. Next, I wanna talk briefly about Halloween. As you know, COVID-19 has affected about everything in our lives right now, including Halloween, which did not escape. So trick or treat here in Lexington will be on Halloween day, October 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. We have been staying up with up to date with the CDC and the state health guidelines on having a safe Halloween. So this year, 
what we're asking people to do is not have a big bowl of communal candy where everybody dips into it. We want you to have individually wrapped candy, have it sitting out on a table or a porch so that children can come and pick up a piece or a bag, however you have it wrapped. If you're out trick-or-treating, stick with your family unit and maintain social distance from others, just like we do in everyday life now, and wear a COVID <clears throat> protective mask. You know, Halloween costume masks don't really take the place of protective face covering. So if you can just encourage your group to wear a protective mask, <clears throat> and finally, just have fun. That's what trick-or-treating is all about. Pick up some candy, dress up. We have had to cancel some of our events. There will not be a thriller parade this year. I know many of you enjoy that. And our Halloween festival has been canceled. But our Parks and Rec team has come up with some other really good alternatives. They're safe activities, and you can go find all of those on our website, www. LexingtonKY.gov. <clears throat> and finally, I wanted to give you just a brief update on COVID-19. We have been fighting this pandemic now for seven months, and none of us ever imagined it would be that long. Kentucky had its first positive case on March the 6th. That was someone from another county who was in the hospital at UK uh, medical Center. In those seven months, uh, Fayette County has had 9,445 positive cases and 84 deaths. 84 deaths is a lot of deaths and our hearts really go out to those families who lost a loved one during this time. Over the past two weeks, we've been averaging about 70 reported cases each day. And so you all have done a great job. Continue to wear your masks. Um, I wear mine every day to work. I, I, you know, am masked all the time. I'm not right now because I'm not near anybody, just the camera. <laughs> and um, continue to social distance and wash your hands frequently. As you know, not only do we have COVID-19 circulating, but we're also starting to get into the flu season. Um, one other quick note about COVID-19 and testing, the Mayor's Neighborhood Mobile Testing Program has been a great success. We started it in the beginning because we had neighborhoods where we knew people had disproportionate health care disparities that were increasing their percentage of positivity on COVID. And so we decided to go directly into the neighborhoods. These uh, mobile sites are at no cost to the patient. You don't need an appointment. You can drive up or walk up and they've been circulating all over town. And I'm very proud of the success of this program. We have tested 46 different days with the mayor's mobile program, and we have tested nearly 12,000 during those 46 days. So it's been very successful. And remember, along with that, there are numerous test sites all over Fayette County. So again, visit our, our website, www.lexingtonky.gov to Click on that yellow banner at the top of our website for any of the COVID-19 related information, including test sites. We have a wonderful community here in Lexington. You all have been very proactive about taking care of yourselves, protecting others, and I just want to thank you so much for that because as a community we've done very well and I want you to continue to stay strong and healthy. So I'll see you next time. Thanks a bunch for tuning in.